Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ansley has faith. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we're getting a look at what kind of body care we can expect throughout the end of the year. And we're hearing that hot cocoa and cream is going to be in body care form. Now, I think it has been a hand cream from what I remember. I know it's a candle and a soap. But now it's going to come out in body care, so I'm pretty sure it was a hand cream already, or it might be another hot cocoa scent that was a hand cream, but either way, I'm excited for hot cocoa and cream. Then we have a Chasing Fireflies coming back, Dahlia's coming back, Fairy Tale, Gingham, Gorgeous, and lovely dreamer so these could be semi-annual cell um body care coming back but we know fairy tales coming out as like a winter collection and lovely dreamer i've heard it's been out before but i don't remember it at all but i like the sound of it i think it sounds good and then of course jolly gingerbread village is coming out and of course we have vanilla bean noel winter candy apple twisted peppermint is coming out and bright christmas morning and then i've heard that tis the season is going to come out in body care form so that would be amazing i know a lot of people like tis the season and it seems like the perfect christmas scent to me so I've heard tis the season and then we have crisp morning air, fresh sparkling snow, frozen lake and gingham. So frozen lake is a candle. It has been a candle before. And I really like it. It has eucalyptus in it and that would make a really good body care. So I'm looking forward to frozen lake coming back and being in body care which is different than usually it's just a candle as far as I remember and we have winterberry ice spiced citrus grove and then a lemon cello so we have classic flannel coffee and whiskey dark kiss Dream Bright and Into the Night. We also have the Men's Woodlands and Leather and Brandy. And then we have A Thousand Wishes, Lavender Vanilla, which is aromatherapy, Bourbon, Cedar and Suede. So then we have one called Satin Slippers, which sounds amazing. And it probably goes with one that is called Ballet Nights. And then we have At the Beach, Butterfly, Carried Away, Champagne Toast, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, Cucumber Melon, which is probably part of the semi-annual cell. Frosted Coconut Snowball, Goldenberry Mistletoe, and then one called Meet Me in Miami, which sounds pretty cool. And then Pure Wonder and Luminous, which we've already seen Luminous. And then um, maybe for the semi-annual cell, we're gonna have the Gingham Legend that came out in the men's um, body care. So that is what I see so far. So I'm excited about Ballet Nights, Meet Me in Miami, Satin Slippers, Hot Cocoa and Cream, Tis the Season, Lovely Dreamer, because I don't remember that one. And this is the list for the rest of the year. So some of these could be the semi-annual cell 
collection. You know how they always come out with a collection that is new at the semi-annual sale. And for starters, it's not on sale like everything else is. And eventually it does go on sale. So Satin Slippers and Ballet Nights kind of gives me the Paris vibes. Like whenever we had the Sweet on Paris, the Paris Nights, Paris and More come out. It was like a fancy collection. So the Ballet Nights and the Satin Slippers are giving fancy. And I love that. But it's also giving, like, I don't know, like, I feel like it's going to have musk in it or something. Or powder, like powder, baby powder, musk. I don't really like those, but hopefully that's not what's in it. But I don't know, when I first heard those scents, I thought of when we had the Paris line. And then Meet Me in Miami is kind of random. So I feel like there's going to be a collection where there's going to be more than just Meet Me in Miami. Or is Meet Me in Miami going to be a standalone scent? Just kind of like fun this time instead of so fancy. But I just wanted to share with you the new body care coming out the rest of this year. Subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching.